They said Chernobyl was dead, but deep within the ruins, something strange survived. Animals twisted by radiation, shaped by silence, and untouched by time. Some look normal, others defy explanation. From the eerily familiar to the truly nightmarish, these are 10 radioactive creatures still roaming Chernobyl, ranked from the least to the most terrifying. Number 10, they look peaceful, but they're not supposed to be here. In the heart of the exclusion zone, a rare species has made an unexpected comeback. The Przewalski's horses, once nearly extinct, now roam freely across the radioactive plains of Chernobyl. Released into the wild in the 1990s, these sturdy, prehistoric-looking horses have adapted shockingly well to the contaminated environment. Despite feeding on radioactive plants and drinking from toxic streams, they appear strong and healthy. But scientists have found traces of cesium-137 in their tissues, and no one fully understands how they've survived this long. They are living relics, thriving where humans can't, and no one knows what years of silent mutation may be doing to them. <laughs> Number nine, they live beneath the water and carry a secret you can't see. At first glance, they seem like ordinary fish, but these are anything but normal. In the rivers and cooling ponds around the Chernobyl reactor, radioactive fish continue to thrive. Species like carp, catfish, and pike have been caught with dangerously high levels of cesium and strontium in their flesh. Some appear bloated, others grow larger than usual. Fishermen who've ventured too close have reported catching fish with translucent skin, or strange discolorations never seen elsewhere. While their mutations aren't always visible, eating them would be a death sentence. These creatures may look calm, but inside, they are ticking radioactive time bombs. Number eight, they move through the trees in silence, but something about them feels wrong. You think you're looking at an ordinary animal until you get too close. The radioactive deer of Chernobyl still wander through the forests, grazing on contaminated grass and licking bark soaked in fallout. On the outside, they seem untouched, elegant, peaceful, but their bodies tell a different story. Autopsies have revealed radioactive particles embedded deep in their bones and muscles, turning them into vessels of long-term contamination. Some have been born with underdeveloped organs or strange growths hidden beneath their fur. And then there's the video filmed near the Red Forest, showing a group of deer crossing a path, but one of them appears to have no head. The figure moves as if nothing's wrong, casting doubt on whether it's a deformity, a visual glitch, or something else entirely. To the casual eye, they're harmless, but in reality, they're ghosts of radiation walking silently through a poisoned world. Number seven, they were once house pets. Now they hunt in the ruins and something about their eyes just doesn't look right. After the evacuation of Pripyat, many animals were left behind. Over time, these survivors adapted, forming feral colonies. Today, Chernobyl's radioactive wildcats stalk the decaying buildings and overgrown streets. They feed on contaminated rodents and birds, absorbing radiation over generations. Some have been captured on camera with missing patches of fur, swollen limbs, or unnatural behavior, like stalking humans without fear. Locals say certain cats always reappear in the same spot. At the same time, as if bound to a broken loop. And in one eerie clip, a cat is seen staring at the camera for over five minutes, unblinking before vanishing into the dark without a sound. They may look like strays, but something deep inside them has changed. Number six, they're short, quiet, and cold to the touch, but their color holds a strange secret. In the wetlands and abandoned canals around Chernobyl, scientists have discovered black frogs, a bizarre variation of the Hyla orientalis tree frog. Unlike their green relatives, these frogs have developed dark, almost pitch black skin. At first, it looked like a mutation, but further analysis revealed a possible defense mechanism. The extra melanin may be shielding them from radiation, absorbing it like armor. 
What's eerie isn't just their appearance, but their behavior. They cluster in shadowed corners, remain still for long periods, and emit chirps at unnatural frequencies, recorded only in this zone. They aren't monsters, but they're adapting to survive in a world that was never meant for life. So far, the creatures we've seen are strange, unsettling, but still recognizable. But from this point on, the line between animal and anomaly begins to blur. The following cases aren't just contaminated, there's something else, more aggressive, more disturbing, and in some cases, maybe not even meant to exist. Number five, they're fast, aggressive, and they carry radiation on their skin. You'll hear them before you see them, tearing through the underbrush like tanks. The mutant boars of Chernobyl are not just surviving, they're thriving. Fueled by radioactive roots, mushrooms, and soil, these animals have become unnaturally large and dangerously bold. Scientists have measured alarmingly high levels of cesium-137 in their flesh, enough to make them deadly by contact alone. But it's their behavior that truly terrifies. Hunters and researchers have reported being charged without provocation, and some animals have been found with thickened skulls and facial deformities, almost armored. In 2019, a motion sensor camera captured one of these beasts approaching a collapsed shed, only to ram it down like it was nothing. These aren't just wild animals anymore. They're radioactive battering rams, untamed, mutated, and angry. Number four, they hunt in silence, and they never hunt alone. What's worse than one predator in a radioactive forest? an entire pack. The radioactive wolves of Chernobyl are perhaps the most studied and feared creatures in the exclusion zone, with five times the population density of wolves in uncontaminated areas. These apex predators roam the forests and ruins with eerie confidence. They've been found with radioactive particles in their fur, bones, and organs, making them walking contamination zones. But what disturbs researchers most is their resistance. Some show no signs of illness, despite being heavily exposed. Locals speak of silent packs, groups that appear out of nowhere, surrounding lone intruders without a single sound. One wildlife tracker swears he was followed for hours, though he never saw a thing, just shadows between trees and eyes in the dark. These wolves are more than survivors. They are evolution, distorted by fallout. Number three, it was just a routine patrol until they saw something slithering beneath the rubble and what they found shouldn't exist. Soviet cleanup workers in the late 1980s reported a chilling encounter beneath the reactor ruins, a giant snake-like creature covered in uneven grayish scales and with eyes so clouded they seemed blind. They called it the Serpent of the Debris. According to the reports, never officially confirmed, the creature was over five meters long, and it disappeared into a drainage shaft before they could act. Others have claimed to hear dragging sounds echoing from sealed maintenance tunnels near the reactor. Some dismiss it as radiation hallucinations. But then came the footage. A grainy 1997 video from a group of illegal explorers shows a massive shape moving behind twisted beams in reactor sector B. No one has explained what it was, and the video was quietly removed from most public archives. Whatever it is, it was born in radiation, and it's still down there. Number two, it walks like a man, but it's not one. And once you see it, you'll wish you hadn't. Among urban explorers, there's a name spoken in whispers, the creature of Pripyat. Described as tall, pale, and painfully thin, this humanoid figure has been reportedly seen in the decaying apartment blocks of Pripyat. Its arms are too long, its movements unnatural. Some say it emits high-pitched screeches that make camera microphones fail. One video clip, uploaded briefly in 2013, showed a shaky figure entering an abandoned school, then immediately turning back, whispering, it was watching me. In the background, a shadow crosses the hallway, fast, hunched, and silent. Some believe it's a mutated human, others think it's something else entirely. A remnant of Chernobyl that learned to survive in the dark, 
and forgot what it used to be. Whatever the truth is, no one who's gone looking for it has ever tried twice. You've seen creatures twisted by radiation, some mutated, others unexplainable, but nothing compares to what comes next, because this one might not even be alive, and yet, people keep seeing it. Number 1. It appeared just days before the explosion, massive, silent, watching from above. Witnesses called it the Black Bird of Chernobyl. Multiple workers at the nuclear plant described seeing a dark, winged figure perched atop the reactor. Its wingspan enormous, its eyes glowing red in the early morning fog. Some reported terrifying dreams. Others claimed to hear a screeching sound with no source. Then, the meltdown. After the disaster, no one ever saw the creature again. Some believe it was a warning, others a curse. And some think it's still there waiting for the next mistake. Official reports never acknowledged its existence, but the testimonies were real. And when you ask the survivors if they believe in it, they don't laugh. They just go quiet, 